Any golfer can hit the golf ball straight. Bold statement, but in today's video, I'm gonna show you the exact concept that you need to know that is gonna back this up. You do not wanna miss today's video. So any golfer can hit the golf ball straight. It sounds too good to be true, right? Well, in fact, go look at the best players in the world. You will see thousands of different golf swings, but what are they all amazing at? They are all amazing at rearranging everything so that they get into a great delivery position and that they can compress the golf ball with some consistent ball striking. And they get very, very consistent results. They get a lot of speed, all of these different aspects. So what I'm going to teach you today is how you can figure out what you need to do to rearrange your swing in the downswing to get it into this great delivery position to therefore make great contact. Let's now jump into the video. So what is this delivery position that we tend to see a lot of the best players in the world fall into? Now again, there is variance here obviously, but as a sort of general, if I grab this alignment stick and I place it just outside of my trail foot right there, what you will tend to see is a lot of the best players in the world will have their arm in a position to where the hands are kind of over this alignment stick. The shaft will be very much sort of dead in line. So the club head is dead in line with the hands or even slightly behind the hands. And the face angle will be anywhere from sort of toe up to leaning down to the ground. Now that's sort of the parameters that you tend to see. You might see some golfers have the hands a little bit more out. Some golfers might have it a little bit more in, but that tends to be the spot. Now, if you are just struggling with your game and you want an easy position to, to sort of aim for, what I would say is set up to the golf ball, place that alignment stick down, try and deliver the club to a position to where your left hand is over that alignment stick, club head is slightly behind the hands and slightly face down to the ground. That's sort of the safest position to aim for. If you aim for that, you're gonna be in a good position. We are all in kind of slightly different position A's at the top of the backswing. You see Dustin Johnson be a lot more sort of up high leaderish flex than a position like this. You will see some golfers like John Daly be very sort of long and loose this way. You will see Rory be a lot flatter. Hunter Mahan, if you remember his swing, super, super flat. And then you'll see these golfers like Adam Scott be in a really neutral Max Homer, really neutral position. So there are loads of different types of top of back swings. So with that in mind, we have to understand how do we reorganize that to get down? Well, two key concepts we got to understand is number one, what controls the down portion in our downswing and what controls the out portion. So very simply, if I go to the top of the backswing and I pause right here and I freeze my body and I just let my arms work, you can see if I work my arms correctly, they would be doing this motion. So my arms control the down portion. Now, if, I'm, uh, if I go to the top and now I leave my hands up and I just turn, what do you notice? My hands work out. So now we know the arms control the down the hands control the out. So with that in mind, what I then want you to now look at is your top of the back swing and go, look, there is no one way to get from the top down to the bottom because if you are DJ or you are a golfer who gets the club very, very upright in the back swing and you suddenly start to rotate super hard with your chest, you're gonna swing over the top every single time. So those golfers are gonna require more of a vertical hand path on the way down to get us back into this great delivery position. Now, if I take that same hand path and I then put that in a Rory McIlroy swing or a Hunter Mayhan swing where it's a lot flatter and I get them very vertical, well, now I'm way behind this position and I'm in a position here to where the club's stuck. I can't do anything besides block it, hook it, fat it, thin it, and none of those are good results. So for those golfers, they're going to want more of a diagonal hand path. So what we can sort of see here is that some golfers are going to feel like the arms are coming down very quick in transition and there's not much chest rotation and other golfers are going to feel like, no, 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 I'm trying to rip my body open. Again, this is where we have to take concepts and go, okay, that's great for everybody to know the concept, but what do you do? Now, if you are a golfer, here's as simple as it gets. If you are a golfer who, as you swing back, sees your hands get very vertical. So if I draw a line straight down from the butt end of the grip, it's anywhere in front of my ankle. Let's just say anywhere in front of my ankle. You are going to need to have a very passive chest, so nowhere near as much chest rotation, and you need to get your hands down quick to get back into this position. Because any chest rotation is gonna to start to shove the club over plane, you're gonna slice it, pull it, shank it, horrible from there. So that's that goal for anybody where the button of the grip is in front of their ankle at the top of the backswing. Any golfer who has the butt end of grip from the front of the ankle to the back of the ankle, let's see if I can do this right here. Hopefully that's in that good position. In that position, any golfer here, 
you can have a little bit of chest rotation, but again, you are still gonna to wanna to feel like it's kind of a blend of the two. So you're gonna feel a quite a nice blend of the hands working down and the chest working out. Why? Because your hands are in a deeper position at the top, you need a little bit more of a diagonal plane relative to those golfers who need to get it working straight down, just to get it back into that good delivery position. Now, if you're the final golfer and you look at your swing and the bind of the grip is outside of your heel line, that golfer needs to feel a lot more rotation in the downswing to get the club back into this good position. So again, you can sort of see, if I map this out, you've got golfer A, hand path needs to be a lot more down. So that's where the butt end of the grip is outside of the uh, front of the ankle. Golfer B, butt end of the grip is somewhere on the ankle, is a little bit of a diagonal path, still pretty steep. And golfer C, is the butt end of the grip is way outside of their heel line. They've got to have a lot flatter, a lot more of a diagonal hand path to get it back into this good delivery position. So now you can see, okay, you can customize your swing thought. And again, sort of see this as a chopping board with an onion on it. You're sort of trying to balance these swing thoughts. So this is where you got to look at your swing. I've given you some reference guys, take that concept, blend it together, and you're going to see some good results. So let me try and demonstrate all of these swings for you. Golf for eight, butt end of the grip is going to be somewhere outside of the, the front of your ankle. This is going to feel very, very strange, but let's give this a go right here. I'm going to feel like I go super high, get the arms coming down very quick to try and get it into this good delivery position. So here, up and down. So I felt like my arms were working down very, very quickly. Not a lot of chest rotation. Let me now try and imitate golfer B, which is more my normal swing. We're going to see a little bit more of a diagonal hand path relative to golfer A. So if I try this one right now here, we can see a little bit more of a diagonal hand path right there, but still quite a bit of down elements to it. And now let me try and emulate golfer C, like a Hunter Mayhan who gets it super, super flat. This one, I'm gonna be feeling like I really rip my chest open and I kind of leave my hands up to get it back into a good position. So you can see all three shots there went relatively straight, trying to get that in a good position, good delivery position. But what I was able to do was rearrange the club, change my swing thought, change my transition feeling, depending on what swing type it is. Now I'm not saying try all three, work with what you got, but that is how you match up your downswing. And if you understand that, you're gonna make golf so much easier. Now you might have two buddies, two extra buddies, there's three of you. One of you might swing it very vertical and you say, hey man, what did you think on that swing? They're gonna think that they had the club working straight down, no chest rotation. Your other buddy might go, well, hold on a second, what are you talking about? My hands are super deep over here. I feel like I ripped my chest open so I can just get the club back in front of me. And then you might be like, well, hold on a second, I kind of feel a little bit of both. So now you can see how it's understand the concept, then build your own swing thought. Hopefully that makes sense. Now, if you need help identifying what swing you are and how we can match it up uh, for online coaching on the Skillist platform, the link is down below. Grab yourself the free practice guide, that is also below. And if you have enjoyed today's video, please give a like and subscribe. I hope to see you back here soon.